Welcome Libra to your love reading for April 13th to the 19th of 2020. So here we do have your 10 card Celtic cross spread with a few clarifiers and the theme of the week. Uh, we do see the past being very significant to you, either returning to you and it looks like a big probability for a lot of you or reminiscing about it. Now, even though that might be the case for some, it still tells you that there you really have to tap into your own spiritual awareness and your spiritual resources to understand whether or not the person that could return to you has an ulterior motive or a hidden agenda. And it seems like as you're, you know, moving away into better harmony with your own thoughts and what you might be doing, you know, communicating well to certain people and even working uh, or manifesting material wealth in, into your life or whatever you desire with the eights of pentacles there um that's the recent past so maybe last week or the weekend something coming through or even having your mind on that that's that's where you're moving into good territory feeling good about yourself um your mental health your your satisfaction just feeling kind of good or better you know from past times where it was a bit heavy this is telling you just to be aware of that the potential for someone to kind of coming through to wreck that energy if they have the potential to do that with you um the two of wands is the energy what's on your mind so again you're thinking about energetically where you would like to put your pitch the the winds of your sails. where would you like to put that where would you like to go so sometimes, sometimes this could be traveling or even having the um it's almost like in say an identity crisis where before you wasn't really sure of who you were or where you stood with somebody or just your place in the world but this can often have you feel better and motivated when you make sure that hey this is what's happened with me and someone else i feel like there could have been deception or that's still going on and until you they until they give you a reason to trust and be motivated about that particular connection you seem to be coming through like you're having your options open and being single and figuring out you know your freedom embracing that because they seem to be either not wanting to it's like get married or they don't well I don't, I don't always advise people to get married no um if you're open to that that's fine but you don't need that in your life that's a that's just something that you want. It's not a necessity. But if you want to manifest that in your life, that's fine. But this person, at least this week, they may not be offering that proposal or to go out to hang out. They may have some other things going on. And it could be say, sometimes it's an addiction to um, drinking. Sometimes it could be drugs. And sometimes that might really pull you away from somebody. So that might be an issue there. And I feel here where your their intention i feel is to make some changes they're trying to make some changes but it doesn't automatically drive them right into manifesting that right away so in the meantime i feel like you need to just work on your own happiness you know feeling good you know creativity doing what you have to do to keep that energy going when you have two aces showing up that mean like you're feeling on, on the top of your game like you want to do different things you're open to maybe getting to know someone know you you're open to whoever this person might be even if you feel like they're deceiving you in some way right now you might even feel like they're doing that because they don't have their own baggage cleared out they're not really sure what they actually want because they could also be healing from something from the past so when that seven of wands is coming up with the ace of cups those are energies of you feeling good energetically to uh, state your desires of you know state how you might be feeling and where you even feel like someone is your um a choice for somebody or competing you know you can put that to the back of your mind try not to worry about those things because it shouldn't be competing for anybody when it comes to a love relationship it's if something is healthy or if it's something that both of you really want between both of you you're going to feel it you're going to know it you're not going to always have these doubts and when i looked into this that knight of wands with the three of cups in reverse there seems to be something with that person and you may know about this and you may not trust them because you feel like they're either intimate with other people or have that desire to have more than one person in a relationship and some of you might not be with that all right so that's why we have um someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and forgiving and learning um releasing the past and trying to heal from it and learn from what you have been going on and uh, that's what i feel for this week just to be aware of those things but we have some good cards coming for you i feel like it's uh 
empowerment like you're feeling good about yourself feeling attractive feeling like um, maybe you again in some way if you've been um, torn away from that in the past by sometimes trying to be someone that you're really not because you want to impress somebody else and that's what we're ascension and trying to evolve into really being who we are and not being restricted and forcing ourselves to fit in some kind of equation for somebody else to impress that person not good all right so much love to you i wish you the best i hope you have a great week and you can always get a private personal reading that relates to your situation directly all right so have a good one